in the game! Looking at my fragrance collection, how well do we know the house of Orman Jane? I've gotten my experience with samples of Orman Jane and I had a full bottle that I seem to have misplaced somehow, but there are some powerful, super unique scents. What was it, black gold? That was a banger. But when you think about all these niche houses, one that I feel that doesn't get the notoriety that it may deserve is Orman Jane. It seems to be more of like the niche snob or the very deep reviewers. In the fragrance world, appreciate the Orman Jane fragrances. So I requested two fragrances from Semper from Orman Jane that I haven't heard of. One's a little bit more femme because I've been having some of the shorties like, yo, Kuba, show some of the women some love. And that might be something I'm going to be looking forward to in the future. Like my 0.138 percentage of female demographic deserves a little note right and some ball spraying as well. But let's roll my fucking music so we can check out two fragrances from Orman Jane and see if maybe we find a hidden gem. Sexy Blessing one of my beautiful peoples, you know who it is, it's your boy, c 3 to the b to the a Today's video is sponsored by Semper, I did request these fragrances. It just seemed a little bit unique. This was one of the lists that they provided to me of fragrances that were incoming, and I was like, hmm, let's check these two out. I breezed through the notes real quick. One of them just seemed automatically to lean feminine, and although the notes really won't represent how that shit's gonna smell on your skin, I'm like, worst case scenario, it's a female fragrance that smells sexy, my chick could wear this shit and I can put shorties on on my channel, or it looks femme, but it really plays off off amazing off dude fragrances are essentially genderless like my old man used to wear female fragrances because it smelled phenomenal on him so all that gender bullshit when it comes to fragrances meh. so the two fragrances that i requested is orman jane arabesque and sakura i'm gonna start off with sakura which is the more feminine one i kind of smell it a little bit in the air and there are some floral components right from rip but let's check it out on skin i'm not gonna go on the test trip i'm gonna go directly on skin since this is the one that has the feminine looking notes the more floral citrus prominent slightly pepper and there is a little bit of a candy sweetness in the air that I can smell like from holding the decant maybe there's a little bit of leakage here that yeah kind of like on the nozzle there's a little bit of a leakage there all right so let's check this joint out and see what kind of energy Sakura's on ah unisex not fully feminine actually a lot red pepper with citric muskiness the white florals here are actually playful there's a little bit of white and red florals there's a slight sweetness to those flowers there's a beautiful nice tart bergamot note on top mixed with a little bit of a kind of like a ruby red grapefruit juice i don't remember there being vanilla in there but there is this vanilla kind of creaminess followed by a lot of green there's a lot of green coming up right now that's almost like wet grass there's no linear quality to this fragrance this is like definitely stacks upon stacks of different notes that are coming all over the place depending on where we're at opening mid or dry down this is not feminine it's definitely well balanced now i'm getting oud like oud mixed with like some cuminish kind of note let's pop up the notes real quick all right so it's green notes bergamot lime pink pepper i'm picking up coriander mandarin orange that's where that sweet florals is coming in because it's cherry blossoms freesia water lily violet rose cedar musk ambergris vanilla tonka bean this is actually pretty artsy not panty dropping not mass appeal not clubby office safe 1000 percent but on the feminine aspect this smells more of like a summertime breezy summer dress on a shorty type smell very inviting could absolutely be pulled off for a dude has a lot of unisex quality in it i can see the femininity as in this midsection slash dry down there's more florals really popping up the cumin or that oodiness is kind of reducing itself just a little bit but that citric component always stays throughout it's nice i was rate this joint like a good six doesn't blow me away but it is very pleasant but let's jump over to the arabesque one which is the more masculine one this is the one that i'm truly interested in mm, rose oud get that mm, kind of rich warm a little bit on the elegant side there's something here that is very pleasant there's a nice ambery musk earth dirt kind of scent there's a lot of masculinity here but it does lean a little bit in that commonality of rose oud that doesn't separate it too much from other rose oud fragrances if that makes sense the musk here is a lot punchier and a lot more vibrant and slightly dry and what's redeeming it a little bit else kind of switching it from others is a sweetness kind of a black currant 
pinkish, mild tonka kind of vibe from this joint that separates it just a little bit, but not enough to make it like, yo, a must absolute grab. I would have to say that this would be in the space of a 6.5 as well. This definitely leans more masculine. Both of these fragrances are just okay. They're not outstanding. I've definitely smelled better fragrances by the house of Ormond Jane, but I think that's the whole point of a scent burn brand to sample these joints to see if they're your type of energy. Like we can't solely base these shits on the notes. Notes only tell you so much. And that's even if you have experience with notes. If not, what the fuck are we doing? It's like a dude tasting a con pollo and be like, wow, there's amazing tikka masala in here. What is that? That just doesn't make sense. Sample before you buy. Again, these aren't bad fragrances, but no more than a 6.5, not fragrances that I want to reach for or really have in my collection, but it gives me a good interpretation having these samples to see how they're going to play off my skin. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in joining Semperd and testing out fragrance before you spend two to 300 bucks on a niche fragrance because they got a good name, but then you're going to end up being disappointed by the performance or even the scent. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. I'll put a link in the description. Let me know what your favorite Ormond Jane fragrance is and I want to test it out. I'll see y'all snitches next time. You know what is biggest thing the game? Smooches. No, I don't know. 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 I don't know.